Right, what we're doing today, we're going to attempt to fix this Karcher K4. Now, what's happened to it? What's happened to it is we've got a leak. Now, I do make sure every time I use it, even in summer, to get rid of the last bit of water and pressure, just, just in case, obviously in winter, you're going to get frost damage. What's happened is this elbow up here, sprung a leak um manufacturing fault maybe because the new one i've got i noticed this part is aluminium and what else goes on them is where the hose connects up that clip there they get warm and with use that just put, keeps popping out so i've had a uh, a tie wrap on there as well just to hold the hose in so by getting this new part it's gonna uh, fix two problems so yeah I'll just uh, I'll just switch the water on and show you what it's doing basically with the fault there you go you can clearly see what it's doing switched it off so you can hear me but yeah as you can see it's absolutely gushing out of that uh, joint I think it's where it's molded together the piece it's uh, it's just got a, a crack in it. So yeah, these elbows are readily readily available, which is good. Uh, I think mine was about 15, 15 pound. So let's uh, set about uh, taking it apart. So first of all, we'll unplug it. Take off the uh, the hose pipe, so we've no pressure in there basically, and uh, we don't want it switching on either. And what it is, it's a case of uh, pulling uh, let's uh, pulling this clip out here, pin those pliers, and just working that loose with a screwdriver. And that that comes out, does that? upwards so yeah that's what you've got when you pull it out out of the hose Just pull that free and in here like i said just want to uh, work that loose with a screwdriver and now that'll come pull the hose out Then it's a case of twisting this. It was a bit tight, but I've had it off, took it off just uh, before making this video. But when I first took it off, it was quite tight was that, but it's just a case of turning it the right way. And off it comes. So that's the part you're gonna be ordering. And like I was saying, the new bit I got, the new part, this is aluminium, which is much better. That hose is going to stay in there with that clip a lot better. So, quite pleased with that upgrade. Obviously, putting it back is just uh, a reverse procedure. doing it one-handed but just make sure that, that that's it it's gone that's nice and tight now and get your clip pop that in if you can see in there like that push that down Right, that clip, it did take a bit of getting in, did that. You've got to make sure that that uh, aluminium bit is pushed right in. If that's not right in, you aren't going to get that clip in. So make sure it's pushed right in. Uh, it puts the holes aligned, lines the holes up, you can get that clip in. Just wants to go down a little bit further. That's it, we're down solid. It's to make sure it's a watertight fit, I guess. 
it's a good tight fit is that getting that clip in and pushing that right in so you can get it in okay it's just a case now of getting the uh, the hose connected in so that's the hose in we'll just give it a, a tap in with a little hammer that's it we're in okay that's the hose connected on and the uh, the hose pipe so we'll just give her uh, a switch on just built up to pressure there and it's stopped and that looks uh, quite watertight does that so that's a quick fix is that saves you buying a new pressure washer we'll just uh, check Make sure it works at the other end of the uh, the lands. We'll give it a shot. Nothing, nothing wrong with that. Perfect. Make sure no more no more leaks. But yeah, that's fixed it. So hope that helps you fix your uh, catcher k4 thanks for watching